So now in this video we're just going to take a quick look at an integrated circuit I'm working on for a future video and we are just going to look at uh, part of it. So you can see here that we can set the output and then reset the output. Actually two outputs. We got Q which is low right now and not Q which is the inverted Q. It's the opposite of Q. It is high and uh, this is a D-type flip-flop integrated circuit but it also has the set and reset pins. And uh, here's the kit that I got the integrated circuit out of, the uh, 4013. A dual, there's one on each side, D, flip-flop with set and reset right there. So I already made videos on these two integrated circuit. This is the next one in line, but this is just a preview right there. So we had uh, three resistors that uh, held a set, reset, and clock low. They went to the negative supply, they were 10,000 ohm resistors. We could have just used a little jumper to have put clock to the negative supply. That prevented clock from doing anything. And uh, in any case, we had uh, the resistor set and reset. When I took the jumper from the positive rail to a set, it set the output high for Q1 if it wasn't high already. And then uh, bar Q, there's a little line there, I know it's hard to see, is the opposite, it was low. And then when I uh, removed that jumper, so they weren't getting any signal for the most part, until I got high to uh, to uh, reset right there. Then it set uh, Q low and uh, bar Q there of course it set high. Now normally you set either uh, you don't uh, do set or reset unless you want to but uh, you just keep them low and uh, data right here you either go high or low and uh, nothing's gonna happen but if you have it high and then you give a high pulse to clock so it goes from low to high. Then right when it goes high to clock, if D1's high, Q1 will be high, and then bar Q will be low. If D1's low, and then you give a high pulse to clock, then Q1 is also low, whereas Q1 is high. So in any case, as I said, keeping this short, this is longer than I expected, so I'm gonna cut it off there. So. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.